Okay, today we're going to do a yeast starter. Uh, a little scale here. We'll put a quarter pound of dry malt extract. And okay, over here, I have a quart of water on the stove. I'm going to heat that up. I'm going to put the dry malt extract in it. Uh, then I'm going to cool it down. That's going to give me an OG original gravity of about 1.040, which is about what it seems to be that you need for a starter. Uh, so as soon as this is warmed up to about 150, I'm going to stir in the malt, and then I'm going to boil it for 10 minutes, and we'll cool it off, and that will be the basis of our starter. And here I'm going to use this jar to put it into. Okay, you can see there. It's starting to boil. I'm going to make sure that's stirred up. I'm not going to put a cover on this uh, pot until it's pretty close to being done. Because this stuff tends to boil over anyway. Put a cloth cover on it, it's going to boil over for sure. So I'm going to start a timer. Remember when you stir this stuff in, uh, make sure it doesn't. Uh, glow them up at the bottom of the pot or it's going to burn, it's going to uh, taste burn too. So it's doing its thing. I got the timer going. I'll put the lid on the last couple of minutes to sanitize the lid. This is really nothing more than warp. It's just a small amount of it. So really there's not a big deal to this. Uh, but that's going to be the nutrient that I'm going to put the uh, the yeast packaging. For the last part of the boil, we got the uh, lid on top. Of course, I had to turn the burner way down to keep it from boiling over. Okay, after 10 minutes, keeping the lid on. You know, like I said, this is just like doing wort. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, I'm going to add some water to this. And we'll see if I crack my glass pan. So we're going to try to cool this down as quick as we can, and we'll see what happens. Okay, we've got everything cooled down. This is the jar I'm going to put it into. Here's my nice fat yeast that's sitting overnight. And here's my DME. Uh, so I'll put the DME in here, and then I'll put the yeast in there. All the stuff's been sanitized. Shake this up by the way before I dumped it out. Okay, I'm gonna aerate this as best I can here, and then I'm gonna put just a plastic uh, top on this. I could use pure oxygen for this, but I don't think I will. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, who knows, maybe I will after a while. Okay, now I'm going to go out and get a plastic, some plastic wrap to put over this. Okay, uh, I just put a plastic bag over it, uh, and it should start doing its thing, hopefully pretty fast. Uh, I've heard anywhere from 18 to hours to three days, and I'll see that I need a cake on the bottom of this, and we'll see what happens. Okay, I have the yeast all prepped. It's been there for a couple of days. Uh, I would wish for a little bit bigger cake in the bottom. You can see that cake in the bottom. That's I would like to have a little more than that. If I had time, I'd give it another shot of DME and let it do its thing a little while longer. But it's pretty much done fermenting. 
So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pitch this because I've got a, a batch of Scottish Ale that I need to get fermenting. <laughs> 